Hello, welcome to this quick video on restoration techniques for vintage manual conical burr coffee grinders. In this case, we have a 1930s Sassen House 334 record. So let's talk about the issue we've got today, which is, if you can see, we've got a slightly loose joint here. So this handle is attached by a pin which is a tight fit in a hole in the crank. And this has become loose. Now, I've already loosened this, so I'll, I'll come closer and show you what I'm talking about. So, this pin through here is basically a rivet, which is peened over at the bottom, and it's become loose there. Obviously, this joint here gets a little bit of stress, and you can imagine if that gets loose, it creates wear here, and eventually it becomes very loose, and eventually it will fall off. So the question is, how do we fix that? And that's what I'm going to show you. So first of all, we need to talk about the tools we're going to use. The main thing is we need a hammer, and we need uh, an engineer's hammer. This is a ball pane hammer with a ball there, and that's the essential thing. Secondly, we need some kind of anvil. This is an, a cobbler's jack. We've also got a few bits and pieces. This is a piece of aluminium, which we're just going to put over there. And that's going to stop us damaging this pin too much here. We've got a little metal spacer. I'll show you how that works in a minute. A good tip is make sure it's all rounded and there's nothing sharp. And then we've got some masking tape. So where do we start? First thing, what we're going to do is basically the idea is to re-rivet this here, to peen it over so this becomes tight again. But what we don't want to do is pull this wooden handle in so tightly that it doesn't turn. So what we need to do is we need to put a spacer in. So first of all, I'm going to do that. So now you can see we've got that spacer in. That's nice and tight. So now when we tighten this up and peen this over, this will be very tight, but we'll take the spacer out and the handle should be turning freely with no problem. So the next thing is, let's set up the anvil. So as you can see, <clears throat> we've got our piece of uh, aluminium over the anvil. And the reason for this is it's just gonna stop any heavy damage to this part of the pin here. So here we go, this is what we do. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to kind of reform this bit of the metal so it firstly fills the hole tightly so it you know as we tap it it expands and fills the hole here and also just rounding it off so it's not going to fall out you don't need to hit it hard just keep doing it gently So as you can see, this is getting a bit more rounded off. One thing I would say is don't stop too soon because if you take this spacer out and you find it's not quite tight enough, you'll have the devil's own job getting it back in. So make sure that you've gone far enough before you remove the spacer.
So as you're going, keep checking, keep having a look at it. And as I said, the main thing is don't stop too soon. I think that's nearly done. So I think that's done now. Next stage will be to take the spacer out, which is not quite as straightforward as, it, as you'd think because it's it's now riveted in there very tightly. But the way we're going to do it is very simple. We take the spa the take the tape off, and you see it, it's re it's going to be really very tight. And this is why you want all the edges to be round because when you're trying to get it out it's very easy to cut yourself so we're gonna use this little model makers vise pull it out and there you see no more wobble so there we go that's how to tighten up your loose pin attaching the handle just remember give it the benefit of the doubt and do more peening than you think may be necessary in most of these things is less less is more but here less will put you in a difficult position also just keep safe make sure that the edges of your bits and pieces are rounded so you won't cut yourself thank you very much for watching feel free to have a look at the links at the end of the video or in the description and uh, happy grinding